was finished, Gene Roddenberry said to me, he said, well, which accent do you like? I said, well, I said, uh, in my experience, you know, uh, if he has to be a, a, an engineer, he should be a Scotsman. Because Scotsmen, are, in my experience, were famous engineers. He said, well, we rather like that one, too. I said, good, I'll call him Montgomery Scott, and uh, we'll do this, and we'll do that, and uh, I'll, 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 I'll. <laughs> uh, If you know the expression, take the wind out of your sails, you know, uh, Gene doesn't like to have the wind taken out of his sails. He likes to be in charge, okay? So, uh, anyway, uh, so I shut up. Anyway, uh, to cut another long story short, uh, it became, uh, I, I, they, I'm the only one who named his own character, all right, in Star Trek. Yeah. And, uh, and I named him after my maternal grandfather, whom I'm named after. His, he was Captain James Montgomery. And uh, my name is James Montgomery Dewan. So I would call Montgomery Scott. You know, <laughs> came easy. I have one child, one boy who is Montgomery John, and another boy who is Eric Montgomery, so I'm keeping the Montgomery <laughs> Anyway, um, supposing that they had picked some other dialect, some other accent, and when uh, Captain Kirk calls down to engineering and says, give me warp 12, <laughs> instead of hearing the familiar, Captain, my engines can't do warp 12. <laughs> instead of hearing that, you hear, see. <laughs> or you hear, Hey, Dave, that is this warp 12 business. <laughs> I can give you two sixes. <laughs> I can give you three fours or four threes. <laughs> I can get you eleven wholesale. <laughs> you don't like that, hey? What, is, you, you, what I'm giving you now, what a, a, a lot of it is, is a New York Jewish accent. <laughs> you know? That's the way they talk, you know? Hi, you know? No, that's stuff. Anyway. Uh, Oh, we'd have... Now listen here, Captain, I'll tell you many times before I have not to do a boat now, so wait. That's an order. Well, all right. Well, we have... Uh-huh, <laughs> Captain. <laughs> you, you are playing with me, huh? <laughs> and I noticed that uh, on the last... Planet, you did not get the girl. <laughs> you should have come to Lucky Pierre. <laughs> oh, we have, whatever you say, sweetie. <laughs> oh, we have, what? What was that? What was that? <laughs> oh, you just woke me up, Captain. <laughs> uh, what twelve? dilithium crystals and you cut them and stroke them and everything else pretty soon they they get bigger and bigger and they they they'll uh, they take they take notice and they become stronger and, and, I, and anyway I'll, I'll look into that but uh, first of all I'm going to go back and finish my my uh, my nap <laughs> I think 
we could have had a lot of fun with Reggie. Um, <coughs> and he would answer the captain something like this. I'm terribly sorry, sir, but I can't seem to get the little buggers to move any faster. <laughs> I, I think you passed with flying colors, so now you can ask questions. Okay? All right. Yes, sir. Production of Star Trek VI uh, finished? Production of uh, Star Trek VI has not finished, but the shooting has finished. That was, We finished that on July 1st, and I'll tell you a little bit about it, but you're, you're not going to know anything. Uh, <laughs> that, uh, uh, it is a really terrific, terrific script. It's got such pace, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's just, you, you, as I said last night, you, you, you're going to have to go and see it at least three times, you know, before you're going to catch everything. Because the first time there's going to be so much noise anyway, you know, that, uh, you're going to miss it. Anyway, um, I will tell you that uh, the uh, Klingon, you don't know they don't you don't get the next generation over here do you you, you, you get it okay so klingon who is in the next generation is playing his own grandfather in this one as a klingon naturally and uh, when when we came back from that uh, star trek cruise that we had where Gerlinda and a lot of people were here and uh, and who, uh, who else was on the cruise one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you know, twelve or something. Very good. Uh, it was a five-day cruise, but the Star Trek people, we were only there the first two days. And they worked our fannies off. Okay? Fannies is a different word, uh, I guess, here than the other one. Anyway. <laughs> um, we went to a, a location just outside Los Angeles uh, in the Simi Valley. And we walked on the set there. There were 15 Klingons, 10 Romulans, 10 Vulcans, uh, people from all over um, the universe, and all sorts of different planets. The makeup was something else. There was a planet called the Seaweed Planet. You understand seaweed? No? You don't understand seaweed? No? Uh, stuff that, that grows in the ocean. That's the stuff that grows in the ocean that's called kelp. Some of it is called kelp. You know, there's lots of different seaweed. Okay? Well, it's not going to work out too well. But, <laughs> but anyway. Uh, and they, they have long, curly, silver, silver and black hair. It goes down right down to their knees, and they covered their face. But uh, they they, had, they wore a mask on under their face, which was silver. And uh, so I made the joke. <laughs> I hope it's a joke. <laughs> That's probably even a better joke, uh, you know. Um, I made the joke that when they come out of, of the ocean, all they can shout is "Kelp, kelp, kelp." <laughs> Instead of help. 